starting off with oscillator 1, we can see that the sine wave is selected. Now the sine wave is the simplest and purest waveform. I find it really great in the sub bass end because it's felt rather than heard, but I also find the sine wave really useful for adding a little body to other sounds. Uh, so let's hear what that sounds like. Moving on to our next waveform and that is the triangle. So I'm just going to move that up. There we go. Now this waveform is uh, useful for flute type sounds, pad sounds and also sub bass. Uh, so let's hear what the triangle sounds like. As you can hear the triangle waveform has a little bite to it. Not much but it's got a little there. Moving on to our next waveform, and that is the Mighty Sawtooth. Pretty much used on everything because of its warm and even sound. It's useful for creating strings, pads, bass, leads, and brass type sounds. So uh, let's uh, grab a listen to that one. As you can hear, the Sawtooth waveform is very rich sounding. Now moving on to our next waveform, and yet another widely used waveform is the square wave. Like the sawtooth, it is fairly rich, but it's more hollow and woody sounding. Again, useful for creating basses, pads, leads, and clarinet type sounds. Let's hear it. And by listening to it, you can hear that it sounds hollow and uh, woody. Moving on to our next waveform, we have our pulse waveform. It is a square wave, but you can see that the symmetry is changed to make it more rectangular. The symmetry of the square can be adjusted to change the, the timbre, and also we can modulate this with a low frequency oscillator to produce a technique called pulse width modulation, which we will be having a little look at later on. Now, this waveform is used for simmering pads synth blips and also leads. So let's hear what that sounds like. And the last option we have on oscillator 1 is yet another sine wave but the difference here is that oscillator 1 can be frequency modulated by oscillator 2 right here. So by switching on oscillator 2 and selecting whichever waveform you want and then by turning the pot on oscillator 1 until the desired sound is uh, created. Now this type of synthesis is called FM and that is short for frequency modulation. And now if you want to do a little bit of research on this, check out the Yamaha DX7 from the 80s. A classic synthesizer used in countless amounts of records and that used this type of synthesis. And uh, also, I recommend the Native Instruments FM8. So if you want to check out those couple of synths, they use this type of synthesis called frequency modulation. <laughs>